So many friends and colleagues chiming in tonight to remember the legacy that Karen Yarborough left on Cook County and the state of Illinois. The family is keeping her cause of death private, but we are told that she had been sick for some time now. Colleagues say this is a loss for the entire political world. People are trying to find the words to honor the life of Karen Yarborough, the first black person ever elected to the office of Cook County Clerk. The 73-year-old trailblazer was taken to the hospital last week for an undisclosed medical condition, and the news of her death is being felt everywhere. Her loss is devastating because all the new people who are coming in in politics just don't have what she had. She was honest. She was straight. She didn't have two stories. You know, you could look her in the eye and she had empathy for you. Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas was close friends with Yarborough as she says they always had a special bond together. This photo of them at a holiday party in December. She shared a special moment with Yarborough when she visited her just last week. I went over to see her and we actually spent about an hour and a half talking about dying. And we were both sitting there and we were crying. And at the end of the conversation, we both knew, it kind of knew it was over for her. Yarborough was serving her second term as Cook County Clerk after first being elected to the position in 2018. She's known for her leadership in the West Side Proviso Township and also previously served as a state representative for 11 years. Former West Side Cook County Commissioner Richard Boykin worked hand in hand with her over the years. He says this is a loss for the entire state. She listened to the people. I mean, I think that um, that was one of the remarkable things about her and not just that, but she was a consensus builder. She was someone who was able to reach across the aisle and get things done in a meaningful way. Yarborough's family issuing a statement saying in part, so many of us stand on her shoulders and are actively walking pathways that she forged. As a public servant, she had the courage to stand in support of issues that were not always popular, but she knew them to be right. Other tributes pouring in from elected officials, Cook County President Tony Preckwinkle calling her a trailblazer and a friend who always advocated for what she believed was right. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson says she was both a pioneer and a tireless legislator. Governor J.B. Pritzker adding that Yarborough inspired many and faithfully served all. As her colleagues cope with the loss, they tell us it's no surprise that she continued to serve until she passed away. It was her vision, it was her dream, it was what she always wanted to do. So, you know, they say, you know, you die at work. She died at work. She died doing what she wanted to do. A life well lived. So again, the family didn't want to disclose Yarborough's medical condition tonight. She leaves behind her husband and six children. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.